think I'm done talking with this tale. And if I may be frank, I think that's the most I'll need to talk about here for a long while. I mean, I can't imagine the SEC coming back after the competition, the bad press, losing their talent twice in ten years. If they keep going, well, I think I'm good. Perhaps I'll tell you all another tale of the internet the next time you see me. Some interesting stories you just told me, Mr. D3. That community sure sounds wacky. However, as someone who's also familiar with the community this video is about, allow me to bring up a story I'm particularly familiar with. It may not be a funny story per se, but it should at least be an interesting one. So there was this guy who was an established member of this community who I shall codename Golden Wolf. For quite some time, the wolf was well regarded in this community for his snappy editing, his brand of internet savvy humour, and the overall substance of his video output. However, in the late summer of 2018, things started to go south. Now, as an important note before I go any further, this was also the year where a specific deviantart based ranting community proceeded to mass accuse a socially awkward teenager of being a paedophile. You might have heard of it, it made quite the fuss back in the day. Anyway, after these accusations were debunked by a prominent slideshow commentary community member, one of the accusers decided to act in a careless and belligerent manner. I will not go into specifics, particularly since said accuser has since made amends with the accused, but to sum things up, shit got ugly. Real ugly. After seeing this, another high profile slideshow commentary community member decided to make a video calling the belligerent accuser out. It was a video that, while understandable in its goal, was ultimately less than ideal in its execution. This is where Wolf comes in, fresh off a brief hiatus from the slideshow commentary community. Now, given his reputation, you'd expect his response to be a measured, well thought out piece of enlightenment, right? Well, not exactly. He decided to make a response to that video that surprised his peers, and not in a good way. Mainly because his response was a hodgepodge filled to the brim with half-baked conspiracy theories, unpleasant assumptions of the commentator's character, and an unwarranted venomous aura surrounding the whole thing. All of that without even bothering to confirm any of the theories espoused in his video. What a wacky individual, am I right? What's more, a couple months after his video came out, at least two commentaries were made on Wolf's video, to which Wolf responded with… nothing. Radio silence. In fact, after these commentaries came out, Wolf decided to purge most of his video content, which… I mean, it's really something that shouldn't be a surprise at this point given how, like you said, the slideshow commentary community kinda fears having a bad rep a little too much for its own good, am I right? And now for the best part. About two years after everyone involved decided to walk their separate paths and move on with their lives, out of nowhere that darned wolf comes back under a new username and persona and proceeds to act like he never knew the community to begin with. He even made a whole ass video looking at the community that he used to be a part of and was all like, my name is Walden Golf, and these guys I've never seen before sure are a fucky wucky, thinking that no one would have seen it as the laughable attempt to avoid responsibility that it really was. Unbelievable, really. The kind of sneaky behaviour only those slideshow commentary community mavericks could have come up with. That being said, Mr. D3, there was a moment in your video I thought was, um, rather off-putting, to put it bluntly. You mentioned this meathead guy, and you call him out for trivialising very serious cases of grooming in this community by putting the blame on the slideshow commentary community itself, and then... I don't think I have to tell you why this entire sentiment is, burn California with a gender reveal levels is stupid, okay? But somehow, in the quote tweets responding to Meathead, valid ideas like, we are clearly against this kind of behavior and we couldn't have known about this scandal sooner, translated into, the SEC has nothing to do with these people, most of these people are no longer a part of the SEC, and my personal favorite, don't smear us for something that isn't an SEC issue. Bruh, let me tell you something. All three of the creeps, and at least two of the victims in these stories, have articles on the second wiki. At least five of the aforementioned people made videos that were perfectly at home around here. How do you think each of them met each other? How do you think that you knew what happened if you still make commentaries and they don't, hypothetically? I think you know your relation to these people. You don't get to deny your prior relationships like that when we literally have evidence that your people collated that they were once as valid as the active creators now. This is just plain dishonest. I don't care what Meathead said. Heck, if I was denying that I was one of these people in the past, I'd say you deserved it for not contesting behavior like this. I mean, a lot of these people are on Twitter. Don't tell me you didn't see this. 
you proceed to do the exact same thing yourself. Which gave me pause, not only because it seemed to me like this video was made at the behest of Jorm- sorry, <clears throat> Meathead, but also because it seemed particularly vitriolic and insensitive for a video that was made to poke fun at a niche community in a light-hearted manner. Why, if I didn't know any better, I'd say that you actually have both a history with and a grudge against the community that you conveniently left out of your video, and that is also the real reason as to why you didn't name any names throughout. But that couldn't possibly be the case now, could it, Mr. D3? Once again, uh, none of this is the funny part. It's genuinely unfortunate. My sympathies go to the people that were creeped on. I have promises of heaven now. You cannot truly think you are the seven now. 